Okay, so today we are introducing Lupa to grooming. So this is some tips I can give pet owners at home with their pets to get them used to being groomed. So right now I'm just gonna let her hang out inside the tub and I'm gonna give her some treats. She loves liver treats so that she knows that this isn't scary. It takes her a very long time to eat her treats. Eat your treat, what are you doing? The most gentle eater ever. <laughs> Come on, eat your treats. Good girl, good girl, there you go. See, not so bad. And I'm gonna turn the water on, but I'm not gonna touch her with the water and I'm gonna continue to give her treats. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, look, right here. Good girl. You can tell she's already scared. Yeah, you like these. Over here, come on. Good girl. See? Here, here. So I just wanted to get used to being in the bathtub, used to the sound of the water before I hit her with the water. And in order to distract her today, I am going to use this lick mat and I'm going to put some peanut butter on it, stick it to the side of the um, tub. A lot of people ask me why I don't do this with all of the pets that I groom and there's a few reasons for that. The first reason is, is I don't know if people have allergies specifically to peanut butter, which is the best thing you can put on this mat because it's very sticky. So I avoid using that in the shop altogether. Another reason is sometimes dogs are not food motivated. It won't help anything. And a third reason is, is if the dog is getting a lot of treats when they're here, they might go home and have diarrhea, which is something we also don't want. But if it's my own dog, then of course I have the ability to do those types of things. So I'm gonna wet this, stick it to the side, and then I'm gonna put some peanut butter on it. It's okay, Lupa. We have to make sure it's all natural so that it doesn't have any xylitol in it. Oh, what's that, Lupa? Are you not gonna like it? You better like it, you're not even licking it. Oh my gosh, I'm not even sure that she likes it. That's ridiculous. So this is a perfect example of a dog that's not food motivated. She should be licking the heck out of that mat and not paying attention to anything else and she doesn't even care about it. It's okay, Lupa. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. You're a big sucky baby. No, no, we don't jump out of the tub. It's okay. It's okay. Lupa Lupa. You're okay, Lupa. Oh, good girl. Good girl, Lupa. So I'm not gonna wash her face today because she doesn't need it. And this, she doesn't even really need a bath today, but this is just to get her used to being groomed. So no sense of stressing her out by putting water on her face when she doesn't need it. We'll do that at another time when she gets more used to grooming. I let them smell everything so that they can get a little bit more accustomed to stuff because dogs obviously use their nose and their mouth to check out the world. She was much more scared the first time I did her than she is today, so that's already a major improvement. The first time I did her, she was eight weeks old. She's 10 weeks old now. And obviously the first time I did her, I had just brought her home. So she didn't really know me. She had just been taken away from her family. So it makes complete sense as to why she was so scared. And today she's a little bit better. Hey, you're fine, yeah. Good girl. You're gonna have the poops from all the liver treats after this, that's for sure. Okay. So we've soaked her all up. Loop, what's this? Good girl. Good girl. See? Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Loopa, loopa, loopa. Loopa, loopa. Hey. Over here, over here, look. What's that? What's this, look. Nope, okay. Lick mat was a no-go. Good girl. 
Good girl, Lufa. Good girl, Lufa. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you're fine. Good girl. What dog doesn't care for peanut butter? Only mine. Right? Only mine. So Lupa is a working line German Shepherd, which means that she has, she's not bred for looks, she is bred for her temperament, and she is bred to do a job, which means that she is a very hyper puppy, and she requires a ton of stimulation. She goes for her second shot tomorrow, which means that I will finally be able to start walking her, which will definitely help in getting her energy out. Lupa Lu, you are such a baby. Okay, so Lupa made it through the bath, so a few more treats. Good girl. Seems to be the only treats you really care for. Big sucky baby. Now we're gonna be blow dried. You're gonna hate that. So I'm just gonna put some treats on the drying table so that she can sniff around, eat some treats. It's okay, Lupa Lou. Are those good? Look, there's more over here. Just so she associates the table with something positive, like treats. So happy hoodie. Okay, and now we're gonna start with the high velocity dryer on low. And I'm gonna make sure I have some treats in my pocket. Lupa. Lupa. she's not taking a treat it's because she's stressed out so food doesn't always work in situations like this she's panicking but she needs to learn that it's a part of life so I am gonna push through it but I'm not going to fully dry her I'm just gonna dry her just a little bit um, just enough so that she can get a little bit more accustomed to it come on it's okay just give her lots of reassurance and breaks and the dryer is on the lowest setting okay. you're okay Good girl. Good girl, Lupa. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Lupa. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lupa, it's okay. Crate training went like this as well. Obviously putting them in the crate for the first time, they freak out, they panic, um, they lose their mind and they have a temper tantrum. I obviously have to allow her to do that in the crate and then after about two days, she was already used to it. So the same kind of goes for grooming. Um, when I did that in the crate though to start, I let her freak out a little bit and then after about 30 minutes, I let her out. And that's how I continue doing it. Obviously putting treats in the crate, getting her used to it. So you just have to do a little bit at a time. And even though they panic, you can't let them win right away. Because if you stop as soon as they start freaking out, then they're going to learn, hey, if I freak out, she'll stop. So again, I'm not pushing through the groom entirely. She's still damp, um, fairly damp actually, but at least she got a little bit of the blow dryer. I'm gonna give her some treats. Good girl, Lupa. Oh, you big sucky baby. You big baby. <laughs> and now I'm gonna clip her nails. I'm gonna give her a treat just to distract her. There you go. Look right here, look. Look right here, silly. Use your nose. Okay. 
Okay. Good girl. Okay, okay, okay. No. No, Lupa. Lupa, don't bite. It's okay. It's okay. No. Good girl, see? Good girl. Stay. Lupa, stay. Ah, ah, ah. Good girl, good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl, Lupa. Good girl, Lupa. Good girl, Lupa. Yeah, good girl. So that's it for today. So basically, you just want to introduce your puppy to the bath and dry. If you can do that at home as early as possible, that's great. Push through it a little bit when they start to panic. Make sure you have lots of treats or their favorite toys there available. You don't have to complete the job perfectly. You just have to do it frequently. If you can do it once every two weeks, even if you only do a little bit at a time, even if let's say you don't do the bath at all and you just do the blow dryer, that's great as well. But a little bit at a time to get them used to it and that's my best advice to you.